Hey guys and welcome to the next one. So today slightly different again. The last one we did was an outtakes one. This one is it's a bit more of a, a kind of a, a trying video. So it's a trend we've seen going around of people yeah. trying different Christmas menus from fast food places. So yeah, it's something that you, you saw on the on the trending mm -hmm. bit and it looked quite good. It I did. mean not but not only because it's food, but also you know it was a little bit interesting to see what everybody's offering. Yeah. So today we're gonna go round and we're gonna try different takeaway and fast food restaurant chains uh, and menus. yeah the Christmas menu see what the see what they're offering we're not gonna do everything because we'll die. yeah we'd have to do it over a couple of days and just you know <laughs> so we will be starting off with Starbucks yep. we'll go and get a Starbucks and they do a couple of different things. I mean, obviously they focus on drinks, so that'll be that'll be the uh, the main focus well, of this bit. I've seen that they've got a Christmas tree brownie. In. That Ooh. looks good. So that sounds all right. Yeah. You have to try that bad boy. So we'll we'll head over to Starbucks now, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll go get some stuff. We got the puppies in the back. Say hi, baby. <gasps> Where's the magic? There she is. Hi, babies. Hi. Oh, booped it. Uh, it's white. Please, can I have a toffee nut latte? A yeah, medium size. Yeah, medium, please. Would you have any cream on top? Yes, please. Anything else today? And a truffle deluxe hot chocolate, uh, a grand, a medium one as well, please. Yeah, look too much for that. Yes, please. Anything else today? And is it a festive brownie? Yeah, that's the one. Did you want one of them? Yeah, just one, please. Thank Anything you. Else today? No, that's it. Thanks. Yeah, that's it. Come on to the Navy Paint today. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks. Let's go. So I got the truffle deluxe hot chocolate. And I got the toffee nut latte. And, and we got a Christmas tree brownie. We did get a Christmas tree brownie and... Your whipped cream's melted. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say I thought I got whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> that was a genuine reaction by the well, way. That's the well, no, mine hasn't. Maybe she forgot. <laughs> she, hate, she hates me. She actually hated me. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so I've got the toffee nut latte. Slightly concerned because I'm not a massive coffee not fan. Not a huge coffee fan, no. But I do like toffee and yeah. I do like nuts. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, sorry, do I have to put the lid back on? You don't have to, you can do what you want. That's fine. Not bothered. Are you ready? Go. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite nice. Is it? Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's quite. Strong coffee. It is a coffee. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, yeah. No, I'm not a coffee fan at all, or a toffee fan. That, that's nice. That's awful. Nah, <laughs> you're giving that back. Insidious. <laughs> Ew. Right. Well, okay. So oh. they were the two drinks we got. And mm. this is the Christmas tree brownie that they've given us upside down. But as you can see, that looks better in the picture than it does in real life. It's a hell of a lot better <laughs> than the picture. There you go. Instagram versus reality. And Do you want to just take a bite? You're gonna rip some off. Yeah, that's my bit. <laughs> this is my bit. <laughs> <laughs> we compromised. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. How have you got that off without getting buttercream all over your hands? Seconds. There we go. You ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I definitely needed the buttercream. Mmm. Because that's a bit of brownie on right. its own. Yeah, wow. it's okay. It's edible. <laughs> it's chocolate. So we are on the way to Costa and KFC and I think there might be a Greg's here as well actually. I think you might be right actually. Uh, whichever case, we are uh, going to get KFC and definitely a Costa. We haven't eaten yet and it's ten past one. So I yeah. think we should have KFC first. Oh yeah, please can I have a gravy burger box meal? What drink with that? Uh, Pepsi Max please. Back it large. No thank you. 
for now. No, that's it, thanks. That's the first window, please. Cheers. So we are back, we've just been to KFC. We've got the gravy, gravy. burger. Gravy box meal? Gravy, gravy burger box meal. Box meal. Yeah. Great. Christmas meal. <laughs> yeah, basically the Christmas burger for KFC and you're supposed to pour gravy on it, which might get a little bit messy in the car, so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, but it comes in a box meal, so you get a drink. We just got one to share. Chips, <laughs> one piece of chicken and some gravy and straight away the dogs are on it. <laughs> You're wow. so interested. Yes you are. And That's some, gravy nays. And some gravy nays. And then this is the burger. It looks good. So I think it's hash brown, cheese and then chicken. It doesn't look so good on there, but it doesn't look good in look great there, does it? I'm ready. Okay. Are we I'll... trying it without dunking first? Go on then, yeah. We'll Just try to try the gravy nays. Yeah. Is that ready? Cheers. It's good. Yeah. It tastes like a KFC burger with a hash brown on it. <laughs> yeah. That's about as exciting as it it's gets, like really. It's like a hungover dream. Yeah. You want KFC, but you also want a Mackey's hash brown. So it's kind Combine of... Combine the two. A decent combination. Let's go from the beginning. So, hot chocolate. Starbucks hot chocolate out of 10. It was a good hot chocolate. As hot chocolates go, I'd say it was a good eight or nine. Yeah, I'm thinking about nine was good. Yeah. Uh, the toffee nut latte. Four. Yeah, but you don't like coffee, so you, you're scoring it as like a, a yeah. latte. I thought it was quite nice. I don't normally like coffee drinks, and that was quite nice, so I'm going to give that about an eight. Okay. That's high. It is high, but it made me like a coffee drink. I couldn't finish it. I was going to say, that's high for something you didn't finish. But it must be nice for me to like it. And then the brownie, I mean... Mm -hmm. Does brownies go? I'll give it a five. I'm gonna say four. Ooh. Yeah, it just, I'm a chocolate fan. Like, <clears throat> it was just really bitter. I think because it tasted more like dark chocolate and I'm not a dark chocolate fan. Yeah. If it was just milk chocolate, I'd have been more into it, but. Yeah. Not for me. Okay, and, and this burger, what, what are you scoring this burger? My thing is, I probably wouldn't have it again. No, I wouldn't. If we go to KFC, uh, yeah. I'd get my normal. I well, I get, I get that trilogy meal. Yeah, this yeah. hasn't changed my normal order. No. So, six. Yeah, I'm leaning towards six. Like, it's nice. With the gravy. Like, it's six. good. Yeah. It's good because it's KFC, but mm. as KFC goes, I'm going to... It's not the best thing I've had from KFC. No. Yeah, I'm with you on a six. So we're back from our road trip. First of all, let's try this festive bake. It looks all right, actually, isn't it? Yeah. She's a bit squashed. She's a bit squashed now. She was kind of a casualty because Delta got really scared in the car wash. So jumped from the back seat to the front seat, landed on the Greg's. Yeah. Casualty of yeah. Uh, getting your car washed. Landed but... on the goods. Oh. oh, it's flaky, it's gonna go everywhere. Oh, it is gonna go everywhere. I'm trying to break it. Oh, God. So I'm gonna grab this piece. I'm gonna grab this tiny piece. There's nothing in there. There is, there's stuff there. Oh, the smallest. You okay. can still see stuff in there. Okay, you ready? Cheers. Cheers. That's literally stuffing with a little bit of texture in. It's quite smoky and salty. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh. It's very sagey. It's got nothing on my cheese and onion slides. No, I, w I actually wouldn't recommend that. No. Personally. Maybe it's nice and warm, but it's still, ju it's still just gonna taste like stuffing. Yeah, the, the stuffing, with the, the main part of that is sage. If you like stuffing. If you like sage. Right up your street. Yeah, 100%. Not, not a fan. No, not for me. So I think as pasties go, I'm gonna give it maybe a two. Mm -hmm. a two it's not something me. I'd have again, so I'm gonna say a one. Wow. So there you go, three out of twenty for um, the festive bake from Greg's. 
So we've just put our McDonald's order in, we've got the food, and we are going to be trying the jerk chicken, chicken burger. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, had the Big Mac before, I have had the double Big Mac before and yeah. it was all right, yeah. yeah. We've also got the cheese melt dipper things, which I think yeah. are just a Christmas thing. So It looks good. It does look good. And yeah. there's two goujons, it's like it was meant to be shared. Do you want me to rip it in half this time after the fiasco? Yeah, the you, you, you attempt good. it, thanks. God, there's sauce everywhere. Yep. I don't know. Cheers. Yeah, it's quite nice. Mm. Spicy, chicken, barbecue-y. Win, win, win. Could do with some mayo. Mm. So, I think it's just a chicken select. <clears throat> and what makes it jerk is the sauce, which is actually really tasty. And there's plenty of it. Score out of 10. So, I do like the chicken from McDonald's. Mm -hmm. um, I quite like this sauce. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm up there with a nine. Ooh. So next up we've got these melts. Cheesy melts. They look alright. Mm. They look like mini hash browns, but obviously it's cheese in the middle. It looks like if you fried a baby bell. What a fried baby bell would look like. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to put some of this tangy tomato sauce on. Ready. Good. That's nice. And that tomato sauce is oh. really nice. Oh. It's very tasty. I've doubled it. We both did look that. As you can see, we do have the dogs again. Oh. Hey, puppies. Hey. Rating out of 10, they are actually really good, and that tomato sauce does help. So, again, I think it's going to be a 9. I'm going to say 9 just because you only get 4 in a normal bag. So it is the day after we filmed the Starbucks, KFC uh, and McDonald's. And Greg's. And Greg's. And we've just got a, a Subway delivered. Um, I've just finished so I couldn't really be bothered going out and making anything. <laughs> we thought, well, we've got this to do so we might as well get uh, a Subway. So we have got a foot long... Pig in a blanket. Pig in a blanket. And it doesn't look wildly appetizing. Does it, it doesn't. I mean, I don't know if it's because we had it delivered. I don't know if that reduces the quality. Oh, thanks. I am going to put it out there straight away that I do not like pigs in blankets. It's a. How can you not like pigs well, in Well, it's a controversial opinion, isn't it? But I don't like them. It's just sausage and bacon. Well, it's just pig in pig, isn't it? I'm just not a fan. Yeah. So we got the pig and blanket, and you just did you just get lettuce and mayonnaise? Yes, just lettuce and a bit of mayonnaise on these. Cheers. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I literally just got a mouthful of lettuce and cheese. <laughs> Don't open it. There's I mean, some random piece of corn doing in there. I mean, it was supposed to be cheese and toasted, but it's cold and bread. It looks like it was toasted to be fair. I think it was toasted at one point, but... I will say, it is messy. Yeah, it is messy. I mean, it's alright. Yeah. It's quite nice. Like, it's it, a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. I think if you've ever had one of their breakfast sandwiches, I, you know, if you've had the sausage and bacon... You know exactly what this is going to taste like. It's pretty much that. Yeah. There's, there's absolutely no difference. But, surprisingly not bad. Especially since yeah. I don't like... I mean, I think it'd be a lot better if we got it fresh. Obviously, being lazy, I, di I didn't get it fresh. <laughs> I um, I got it delivered. But even then, it's only around the corner. still good, though. Yeah. yeah it's still okay. So, uh, we've just had the sandwich, and um, it was okay. It was okay. Out of ten, before. Oh, okay, out of ten. Um, I'm going to say a five. Yeah, I'm thinking like six. Yeah, it was okay. I would have given it a five, but I wasn't expecting to like it at all. <clears throat> so next we have the the mince pie cookie, which is all right for me because I do actually like mince pies. Another but... controversial opinion: I hate mince pies. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it smells really nice. Oh, it smells like cinnamon. I won't do. I won't do a lot. <sighs> I'm gonna admit right now, I know I'm gonna hate this. Cheers. 
know how few you are. I actually think that's really nice. But seriously, oh, okay. You but barely took any. If you like mince pies, you're buzzing. Like you'll absolutely love it. But I hate cinnamon, and that's all I tasted then was cinnamon. True. He's very cinnamony. There's a lot of cinnamon in it. <laughs> um, but I thought that was quite nice. And for me, um, obviously being someone who likes mince pies, I'd say that was that was a good seven. Um, I'll give you. it. I'll. I'd be nice. The, if you like mince pies, I bet it's really really nice. Yeah. So although it wasn't for me, I will give it four. Fair. Just because Fair. obviously it's gonna be nice for somebody else, and put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> that was the most patronising review of Subway <laughs> ever. So I know you put a lot of effort. In. You did a good <laughs> job, just not for me. <laughs> But yeah, the next so, one I'm excited about. So next up, we've got the Terry's chocolate orange cookie, which, which apparently is, is Christmas menu. It does actually look really good. Um, it does look really good. Really? I think it's got white and milk chocolate in it. I love it. So if you do it like What's that. What's happening, right? <clears throat> My pieces came smaller. So. Oh, it smells proper orangey. It does. Yeah, really like that. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. For me, that's an eight. I'm gonna go nine. Oh wow! Okay, you did think it was good. Mm. So we've just got a Costa. And it's Russell's birthday. <laughs> and it is my birthday. Um, we did. We don't actually have the camera with us, so we're filming on my phone. So it goes a little bit weird than. You know why? Um, but yeah, so I got the after a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And I got the Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate. And then you do, you get a little chocolate with it. It's super cute. So I'll try. It smells really good actually. Just remember, can you take my chocolate? Of course. So they do smell really good. Mm. And there is there is cream on them both this time. <laughs> Starbucks, just saying. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I was really nervous. <clears throat> it was gonna be super in your face orangey. Yeah, that's really nice. The mint's kind of subtle, but mm. it, it, it stays around. Very nice. Swap these. <laughs> well, that is quite nice. Mm. Yeah, that is quite nice. That's like. Do you remember those options sachets that you used to get? I was thinking that, Tastes yeah. exactly like that. Yeah, I was thinking that. Out of 10, is it better than the Starbucks truffle hot chocolate? I think it is, because I like mint. And what did we give that? We gave that a nine. Oh, yeah. It's a 10 from me. I'm going to say an eight, because I preferred the Starbucks hot chocolate. Really? Yeah, I'm not a big, like, add flavour to things kind of girl, I'm, I'm not, I'd rather have the plain, but I'm boring. So, I'm giving a 10 to the mint and a 9 to the orange. I'm going to give an 8 to the orange and an 8 to the mint, I didn't dislike it, I don't know. And Fair. I didn't expect to like the mint one because I don't like after 8. So, alongside the hot chocolates, we also got <laughs> a crispy star. Yeah, chocolate that, crispy star. Chocolate crispy star. I think. Uh, which does actually look quite nice, it to be fair. Really good. There's a cake at Costa that I absolutely love, and it's the caramel crisp. So I'm hoping it's like that. <laughs> Cheers. It's nice. Not as good as the caramel crisp, but it's nice. It's nice. Mm. Yeah, we definitely recommend it. I mean, it's quite milk chocolatey. Comparing it against the brownie, which we gave, what, like a four or five yeah, yesterday? I think we gave like... Seven or seven, eight. Seven, yeah. Seven? I enjoyed it, yeah. Sevens. So there you go, guys. McDonald's won it in the end. Uh, they got the, the highest overall score. Uh, and to be fair, the burger was... It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. And so were the melts, actually. 
Um, so go on, what was your, your favourite drink out of everything that we tried? The truffle hot chocolate from Starbucks. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big flavoured syrup gal anyway. So, although the Costa ones were nice, it's definitely Starbucks for me. Yeah. I have to say mine was the after eight hot Does chocolate. It? Yeah. I really enjoyed that hot chocolate. It was a yeah, that, that was my cup of tea that. Not not literally. Um, but it was yeah, it was good. Um favourite meal. Oh the festive bake. Oh <laughs> god. <laughs> no, it's gotta be the um burger from McDonald's, the jerk chicken burger. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Everything else was just sort of like yeah, everything else was just, I mean... Like the KFC burger was nice, but it was because it was a KFC burger. It was wasn't. just a KFC burger. Yeah. yeah. Um, although I did like that crispy star from Costa as well. Yeah, that was quite nice. Yeah, yeah that was quite nice. Um, yeah, no, I, I have to agree with you. The, the jerk chicken from McDonald's was mm. the best. If I had that and uh, a Costa after eight hot chocolate, I'd, <laughs> yeah, I'd be happy. <laughs> Uh, and obviously McDonald's chips over KFC chips. 100%. So if you did enjoy the video, then don't forget to subscribe and you'll get to see some more. Um, Leave and us a like and a comment about what kind of things you want to see. Yeah, and which one you'd have gone for if you've tried them. Um, which was your favourite food and drink.